Hey, welcome back to another Raised by Wolves Gaming episode, and thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for viewing and clicking the like button on our videos. We really appreciate it. Today we're going to run into a little Iron Banner supremacy with the good old Universal Remote. I'm running with Smooth Ballistics. Crowd Control kills with this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Hammer Forged, improved range and accuracy. And Universal Remote. Range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down the sights. This shotgun has gone through a lot of changes through the years. It only has three in the magazine and it doesn't have much along the lines of rate of fire, impact, range, stability, or reload. And you might be thinking, okay, great, but it fires pretty slow. Well, what do you do when you get that first shot off and you're pretty close to somebody? What you do is use a storm caller, which still has a fairly broken melee, so you can shotgun melee people to your little heart's content. I'm using Amplitude so that my Thunderstrike has greater range. I'm using Feedback so incoming melee attacks fully recharge and intensify the Thunderstrike. And since I lowered my Intellect so I could bump up my Strength to get more melee attacks, I'm going to use Electrostatic Mind. Storm Trance charges faster when allies are near, and when Storm Trance is active, nearby enemies take damage. Been a while since I've used this thing, but I'm going to jump into some Iron Banner Supremacy with the Universal Remote and a Storm Caller. Iron Banner Supremacy. Alpha Team. Okay, here we go with Iron Banner Supremacy on Widow's Court, which is exactly not a shotgun melee type of map. But we'll see what we can do with it here. Maybe we can catch some people by surprise. Like that guy. Oh, but he stuck me. Dang it. There's another one. Hey, all right, look at that. I like it. Maybe that's what I need to do, is just something unpredictable like this, right? Everybody's thinking scout rifle, and I come at him with the shotgun. I'm trapped out in the open here. It's gonna be bad or good? Wait. There we go, now I'm dead. Okay. Well, at least I got the shotgun kill. Pick that up for you, bro. Ha! Shotgun melee shotgun. It's the new meta. I think I'm gonna have better luck if I stick around this, uh... Please. Please. What I was gonna say is I think I'm gonna have better luck if I stick around these buildings here. Because it's gonna force people to be at close range. Maybe I can get some better shots on people. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay, let's go do it now. Like this guy oh a precision kill <laughs> well we do have one of these let's try this for a second let's see how it works for us well I cut you know there we go no where'd you go oh lost track of him yeah the uh Universal Remote isn't what it used to be. It did get quite a significant nerf. A lot of people stopped using it, but it's still reasonably fun. I mean, it's been God knows how long since I've actually used this thing, so... Gotta expect that there's gonna... Wait, who's where? Heavy ammo in <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> I suppose he was trying to shoulder charge me, but it really didn't work out in his favor. Look at that, look at that Cresco flying. Pick that up for me, brother. Thank you. Well, I'm dead now. <clears throat> Nothing in this building. Let's run over to the next one, see what we can see. There we go, nice. Wait, what? There we go, yeah. Defeat comes for us both. Well, we went 9, 1, and 10. That's not too bad. And honestly, I don't think I've used Universal Remote since Rise of Iron dropped. So it's been a long time coming. It's good to get one under my belt. And now I'm going to jump back into some Iron Banner Supremacy with the Universal Remote and a Stormcaller. <laughs> 